hey guys welcome back to Eileen vibe cooking today's video we're making another fast food inspired today we're making chalupa ground beef chalupa from Taco Bell let me know down below which one of the meat do you guys like the chicken the ground beef or the steak my favorite one is the chicken one but today I am making ground beef chalupa okay if you're interested stay tuned keep on watching be sure you are subscribed and also tune on your post notification so you can be notified whenever we upload new videos here on island vibe cooking oh by the way let's get this video to 300 likes without further ado let's begin Let's begin. Here you're seeing two cups of flour in this bowl. I am about to add two tablespoons of baking powder. Now this is all purpose flour. It doesn't have to be anything special. And next I am going in with half a teaspoon of cumin. I don't want too much flavor of the cumin in there. That's the reason why I am adding half a teaspoon. Next, I am about to go in with one teaspoon of salt. I don't want it to be bland, so I am going to add one teaspoon of salt in there. Here, you seeing olive oil. I am about to add two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And one thing I've learned doing this, it's best to sift your flour before you start doing anything because that will help you in the long run of making this chalupa, okay? I am about to add one cup of whole milk in there and we're going to stir it. Okay, we're going to keep stirring it until we have our dough-like texture. All right, now I am going to use about two tablespoons of flour. I am going to pour that on my cutting board and we're going to add the dough on there and we're going to knead the dough for about seven to ten minutes or longer if you have time and do not forget to subscribe you guys because we're trying to reach a milestone here which is 20k baby so be sure you are subscribed the giveaway is coming. Trust me, guys. I have something really cool coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Share the video so more people can come in so we can reach that goal really soon. And the giveaway is coming. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the dough. About 10 minutes later, what I am going to do, I am going to use my rolling pin and roll it some more. And this is how it looks right now. I form it into a ball so I can have, you know, equal parts. I am about to cut it and four different, you know, equal parts. You can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. There's no real size to it. Okay. But mine, two cups of flour give me four chalupas. Yes. Now we're going to take each one of them and roll them until they're nice and flat. And another thing, make sure you make them really flat because they will get bigger as they frying. So be sure you make them super flat, not flat, but thin also. Now 
Now this is how it looks. It looks nice and flat. I am going to roll it some more so I can have a nice round chalupa. You don't want it to look weird looking. So I am going to uh, do some more rolling and make sure it is flat like I said. Now this is how it looks guys. It looks nice and flat. I am about to fry this on medium low. Make sure your heat is not too hot or too low. If it's too low it's going to suck up the oil or if it's too hot it might burn it and the inside is not going to cook. So be sure you have the perfect temperature. You don't want it to be too low or too hot because definitely if it's too hot the outside will be brown and the inside will be super you know raw with dough in it so be be careful about that now I am going to flip it over you see how fluffy and big it gets so that's what I was saying because of the bacon powder make sure you make it a little bit flat I don't know what I was doing with that knife. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to flip it over once more and then it should be good. And this is perfect if you have a deep fryer because I feel like if you have a deep fryer, you won't have any of those black spots at the bottom of it but this is the second one you see how nice this one look so now we're done with the chalupas you see it's nice and nice and golden I, I love that I love that look anyways now moving on to the ground beef okay this is like halfly thaw ground beef this is the reason why you see water in the um, in the pan don't judge me because I was in a rush. I didn't have time to thaw it all the way through, but this is it right here. I am going to let it cook for a little bit, then I am going to pour some of the water out because it's too much water. I also added some lime juice in there. Now these are the seasoning. When I tell you these combination of seasoning is the perfect combo. It tastes so good with this, I'm gonna leave the name of the combination down below and I am going to try to remember them because I need to try the same ingredients again on some type of chicken because it was tasting so good like if I make a, a spice blend with this by itself <laughs> it will taste so good so I have to remember the name so I can do it again because it tastes so good so what you're seeing here right here is chili sauce okay add your chili sauce not chili sauce yes chili sauce <laughs> add your chili sauce in there and basically you are good to go it is the perfect flavor for some reason for some weird reason i combine all those spices together and it gives me that perfect perfect um ground beef flavor i love the flavor now this is it i'm gonna let it cook for a little bit for about three to five minutes to be exact and then it's ready this is this is them right here you have your chalupa your tomatoes your lettuce and your ground beef i know someone's gonna say hey where's the sour cream excuse me my husband don't eat sour cream okay but i am a big fan of sour cream but I didn't have any so I didn't bother buying sour cream but this will go really well with sour cream if you have sour cream feel free to add some in there and this is basically it check the description box down below if you're going to try this let me know how you like the you know the seasoning mixing together let me know how it tastes for you because it was so good and also send me a picture on instagram on facebook tag me in a picture if you make this if you recreate it let me know down below and also i need you guys to comment down below which is your favorite chicken chalupa ground beef chalupa or steak chalupa i don't really like the steak because it's a little rubbery when i buy it from taco bell it's just it doesn't have a 
the good flavor that I want. Like when you make steak at home, it doesn't have that flavor. So I never buy it. I like the chicken one. This is it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new here. And also leave your comment down below. Check the description box for all the ingredients. And I'll see you beautiful people on my next video. Bye.